Hey folks, welcome once again to yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. And yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful, but these times we're in, well, they're appalling. And uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, I have some new surrounds. Uh, I'm no longer in Toowoomba. I left there uh, a few days ago after uh, selling my house. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, time to get on with the business of reviewing. Today we're having a look at a beer from uh, Norway. Well, it's brewed in Norway at least. It's called uh, Trost Lager. So uh, apparently it's uh, yeah, brewed and canned over in Norway uh, exclusively for uh, Pinnacle Drinks, uh, which is uh, Woolworths uh, in uh, Australia by the uh, Ars uh, Brewery, uh, I believe. It's 4.7% uh, alcohol by volume and it's in a little 330 mil can. So I think I picked these up, uh, yeah, the night that I uh, arrived here. All right, so let's uh, crack it open and Pour it out into the Kozel glass. I used to bring a few glasses with me. Uh, the rest are in storage. Okay. All right, let's check out the uh, appearance of this one. Yeah, slightly uh, hazy, golden color. Yeah. Hmm. Nearly two fingers of bright white. Uh, frothy looking head. Let's uh, check out the aroma. All right, a uh, bit of, uh, yeah, multi sweetness, bit of grass. Hmm. All right, so uh, it, the aroma is good um, and the appearance, yeah, not too bad. So uh, let's see how it uh, tastes. Cheers to you all. Hmm. All right, well, um, up front, yeah, a nice, uh, you know, hint of uh, bready malt there, some sort of subtle sweetness. Um, yeah, a bit of a uh, slightly bitter sort of a finish. Yeah, um, that lingers in the palate. Um, yeah, but that... Uh, that breadiness is good. Um, let me have another uh, gulp. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, nice sort of breadiness. Bit of honey. Um, yeah, just a bit of sort of grassy sort of bitterness that uh, lingers in the palate. Um, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's nothing remarkable, but uh, yeah, it's neat leaving some nice uh, lacing uh, on the glass there. Hmm. Yeah, uh, the body is somewhere between light and medium, uh, leaning towards light, but uh, fortunately it's not uh, on the watery side. Yeah, but it's definitely quite thin still. Um, is it sessionable? Well, yeah, sessionable enough. It's 4.7% ABV. So, uh, yeah, you could slam these down on a uh, hot uh, summer's day. Hmm. I've got to say, it's a lot nicer when uh, poured into the glass, this one. I drank a few out of the can and, uh, yeah, didn't think it was so great, but... Uh, yeah, pouring it into this glass and reinvigorating a bit, reinvigorating it a bit has uh, improved it uh, somewhat, I think. Hmm. Now the price point is definitely one thing that uh, really lets it down. Uh, I think for two six packs of it, it was uh, thirty-eight dollars, and that was a special. I mean, good lord. Yeah, what nineteen dollars for a six pack of this, and it's. Uh, like little dinky 330 mil cans, like huh, the prices are just insane here. Uh, 
Yeah, but I've talked about that enough uh, in the past. We all know that. And we all know that, uh, yeah, most people are too complacent or ignorant of the, you know, the fact that uh, we're just paying uh, far too much for uh, beer and alcohol in general here. All right, well, I guess we'll have one last gulp of this and give it a score out of 10. Well, um, it's got a bit of a zing to it uh, as well, um, I, I might add, that I, I don't mind, yeah. Sort of livens up the, um, <clears throat> livens up the palate when you have a sip. Um, yeah, definitely better than most, uh, you know, macro Australian lagers, um, without a doubt. Uh, but, you know, in the grand scheme of things, nothing really remarkable, um, but decent. Uh, you know, if it was $38 here for a slab, then this would be a real winner. It was, it would definitely be something I could, uh, recommend. <laughs> anyway, um, in terms of a score out of 10, I'd probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. So, uh, there you go, folks. Check it out. Trost Lager, brewed uh, exclusively for Pinnacle Drinks in Australia. Mm. Yeah, one of these strange imports, uh, yeah, that uh, I, I think don't, don't actually exist elsewhere, but, uh, you know, obviously, uh, yeah, brewed for this, uh, for this market. There's a few beers like this, uh, actually, of late. Yeah, a strange phenomenon. Would make a good documentary. <laughs> All right, uh, well, enough rambling from me. Uh, I'll see you all in the uh, next review, but uh, until then, fare thee well, all.